School Freeware's Visual Basic Express 2010 Tutorials Tutorial 31 Picture Transparency The next group of tutorials will use transparency within picture boxes. This tutorial will show the limitations of the transparency property setting. First thing I'll do is resize the form. I'll go ahead and get a picture box. I already have a ping image ready to insert into the picture box, so I'll just go to Properties and I'll select the size so it's 100 by 100 to equal the same size as the ping image. I'll go to image, import, and select the image here which happens to be a triangle with a transparent background. I'll click on the form and I'll go ahead and change the background color to blue, or if I click on the picture box, we'll find that the back color is automatically changed to the same color as the background of the form. If I were to click back on the form again, once again I'll just change the background here, I'll change it to red, and click on the picture box, and again the back color is set to red. If I were to insert a background image of the form, go ahead and do that. I'll just go to background image, go to import, and I'll select this flower here. I'll go back to the form one property and I'll set the background image layout to stretch. So now we can see the whole image here on the form. However, you notice that our background is still set to red. So if I wish to change the background, to work with this image here. I'll just click on the picture box again. I'll go to back color. I'll select web and up at the top there's transparent and now the background of the triangle is set to the pictures background. Now within Visual Basic we do not have true transparencies we have false transparencies Basically what you're getting here is just the background of the form here within the picture box. If I were to insert another picture box, select a new image, and I'll go ahead and change the size mode to stretch image. You see the whole bus comes up. If I move the bus over the triangle, I'll have to right mouse click on the bus, select send it back, and now the triangle is over the bus. But you see here that instead of seeing the bus, we see the image of the background picture. This is sort of the pitfall of the false transparency. So many people want to use this as a true transparency like you would see in Photoshop or GIMP or other photo manipulation programs. But here within Visual Basic, when we set a transparency, we will end up with the background of the form and not what is actually behind the image itself.